Now we really don't have a place to go to the bathroom. Maybe I'll be able to save it. We'll see. You want a new outhouse? Yeah. <laughs> Alaska, The Last Frontier has kept people on the edge of their seats for years. From thrilling adventures to life-threatening weather, the reality show has it all. But the best part is, it revolves around just one family, so you could say that it's a keeping up with the Kardashians of adventure shows. But the person who gets a lot of attention on the show is Ivan Kilcher. The adrenaline junkie has been known to stay in the wilderness and doesn't mingle that much with his family. But he's gone off the grid completely for the last couple of years and his fans are genuinely concerned. So stay with us while we figure out what really happened to Ivan Kilcher from Alaska, the last frontier. You know, someday Finley can pull out that old piece of equipment that will then be his great grandfather's and uh, show him how it's still in the family and still cared for and it's still an incredible tool to use when you're out doing this type of work. Ivan Kilcher was born in Homer, a land far, far away in the harsh lands of Alaska. He's a member of the Kilcher family, one of the very few people who live and survive in the blood-freezing temperatures of the area. The family lived in Homer for almost a century without any electricity or modern machines, and they lived off farming, hunting, and fishing. Although all of them are very literate, they found peace in living like this. Ivan Kilcher is the son of Otto Kilcher, who also stars in Alaska, The Last Frontier. His father wanted Ivan to continue with farming and hunting, so after Ivan graduated from Homer High School, he joined his family. His life basically revolved around hunting and fishing for years, until someone heard about this family of more than 20 people who are all cut off from the modern world and live a self-sustaining life. So we're just kind of saying thank you to friends and family that kind of go out of their way to help us. So we were super lucky we got... <laughs> you tell him how it was. He's been quite lucky in his love life too, because when Ivan was very young, he found his soulmate. She was his high school crush, and they've been together ever since. They even got married in 2011 and have two kids. But the best part is that Ivan's wife is also from Homer, Alaska, so she knows all the survival tricks and she's actually a great addition to the show. The two go hunting together and even cook different things, which adds a great romantic element to the show. Ivan has been in love with farming and cooking since he was very young. He was seen cooking on the show too, and he even wrote a cookbook in which he included all the traditional recipes they used to make the life-threatening winters of Alaska a little more tolerable. And Ivan didn't just write this book alone. Eve, his wife, also wrote it with him, and the two had a lot of fun while writing. Moreover, Ivan doesn't really live with Otto, because that actually disturbs his privacy, and now that he has a wife, he needs some time alone with his family. So he lives in a cabin that's only half a mile away from Otto's place. As soon as the outside world heard about this family, everyone was intrigued. It's exactly when Discovery's producers decided to talk to the family about it and see if they can whip up a show that features the whole family and their day-to-day -day life. Ivan was an introverted person since forever, and he didn't like hanging out with people a lot, so this show would have meant that his privacy would highly be affected. But as everyone in the family was really excited about it, Ivan agreed to be a part of the show. Discovery Channel didn't waste any moment to get the whole crew all the way down to Alaska and shooting for the show began. Ivan felt a little uncomfortable at first, which is very evident from the initial episodes of the show. But as time passed, he got more and more confident. But he's also matured with every season, as he initially focused on hunting and didn't pay any attention to farming. He was probably walking in the footsteps of Atz Lee, who's Ivan's cousin and a huge survival icon. However, he forgot that hunting alone couldn't get him through the eight long months of winter in Alaska, and he has to do some farming. And he soon realized it when winter came, and he regretted it a lot. Since then, Ivan has also been focusing on farming, and is enjoying it like he used to do in his childhood. Moreover, people didn't really recognize Ivan when he went to public places in the beginning, but after so many seasons on a mainstream channel, Ivan has become a kind of a celebrity, and he's surely enjoying this life of glamour. But while everyone loved watching Ivan on the show, he suddenly disappeared, and it was shocking for the fans because he's never been off the grid for so long before. So let's find out what made Ivan stay out of the spotlight for so long. 
Ivan was shooting for an episode of Alaska The Last Frontier when he got into a serious accident. Homer already is a tricky place to live and this time Ivan wasn't very careful, resulting in a terrible fall. It even cracked some of his ribs and he's not been able to do hunting, farming or any chores ever since. It's basically a nightmare for someone who loves doing chores like Ivan. When his wife and other family members heard about the accident, they were already scared and freaked out, but then Otto reassured everyone that it was nothing serious and Ivan will be fine soon. But this accident resulted in him doing a proper bed rest, which is why he wasn't very active on the show. He didn't even take part in a lot of outdoor chores in the last season, and that's because his wife wanted him to completely recover and only then get back into the field. Although Ivan hated his recovery time, he had to do it so he could quickly recover and get back on the camera. Amid this accident, some people even spread the rumor that Ivan didn't get injured but actually died in an accident. This was later cleared up and he actually is happy and healthy now. Besides, his wife has now taken up the role of gardening as Eve Kilcher was spotted tending a garden on the show. People said that roles are reversed this time because while Eve was doing a lot of the outdoor chores, Ivan was staying at home and taking care of the kids. He's even revealed that it's a huge change for him but he has to help Eve at home as she's helping him in all the outdoor chores. Eva said that it's not very easy to do outdoor chores, especially when you're in Alaska, because every day there's a battle of survival against nature. Luckily, Eve has a lot of tricks up her sleeve to tackle the harsh weather and wild animals, so she's fitting quite well in her new role. Ivan was even seen making muffins with his children, because he couldn't do any of the heavy lifting as his broken rib was still very fragile. So I gotta use my left arm here. Me help. Yeah, you're helping good. Eve's helping out with all the chores around the homestead that I would typically do, and so I'm helping out with the kids. Ivan even felt very frustrated, having to stay in bed for so long and doing things he's not very good at. This accident has actually shaken the whole Kilcher family, as they're also quite disturbed from Otto's accident. Ivan is getting the best medical treatment there is, and the family is fine with spending thousands of dollars to get him back on his feet. Most of the family's money now comes from their TV show, which is famous due to all of the members of the family, so they really couldn't afford losing anyone or letting go of a main cast member. Ivan adds an element of mystery and thrill in the show, and viewers love him, so he's actually paid thousands of dollars to star in each episode of Alaska The Last Frontier. And even after his accident, he was getting paid good money to show glimpses of his household and show his cooking with his children. Ivan will also inherit a lot of money from his father, and to add to that, the family basically owns massive acres of land in Alaska. The family's not just loaded, they're basically a lister kind of rich, because each one of them is a millionaire, and the money isn't even gained to anyone else, because the whole cast is tied by blood. Even Ivan Kilcher's net worth is reported to be around $3 million, which obviously is a lot, but still not more than Otto or Atsley, who basically own the show.